Hello. In this video, I'm going to explain why there's no interference between two waves which are polarized uh, perpendicularly to each other. Okay, to begin, let's have a wave that is propagating in a forward direction and is polarized vertically, so it's oscillating up and down. And let's have another wave which is polarized horizontally, so it's oscillating left and right. Now, when we superpose these two, what's the resultant wave? Now you have to use a bit of your imagination, but uh, this is the resultant wave. Uh, it's polarized um, diagonally, so to speak, diagonally. It's probably easier if we look at the thing from this direction. So looking from this direction, at this point, the, the blue wave has a displacement that's upward, and the red wave has a displacement that is left. The principle of superposition says we sum up the displacements. It's a vector summation. So the resultant, at this point at least, would be um, diagonal, right? Diagonal in this direction. So maybe that, that will help you see why the superposition of, position of these two uh, give us this resultant wave. Now, what is the intensity of this resultant wave? So the vertically polarized wave has an amplitude of A. The horizontally polarized wave has an amplitude of A. The resultant wave will have an amplitude of root 2a. And since intensity is proportional to amplitude square, the resultant wave has an intensity of 2i. Now let's try to um, change the phase relationship between these two. So let's have the blue wave, the vertically polarized wave this way. Uh, but let's shift the horizontally polarized wave slightly, right? Uh, by half a cycle actually. So now they line up like this instead of like this. What is the resultant wave now? It's going to look like this. So if we talk about this part here, what we have um, is the blue wave that, is a, that has a vertical displacement and the red wave has a rightward displacement. So at this point, the resultant is Diagonal again, but you know, um, leaning in the in in the other direction. So, what is the intensity of the resultant wave? Is it two i again? Yeah, it is right. So amplitude a, amplitude a again. The resultant has amplitude root two a. So two i again. Actually, we didn't even have to bother to figure out why is the what the what the resultant wave look like. The key is this, right? No matter how we line up the blue and the red wave, the vertical amplitude is still going to be A, and the horizontal amplitude is still going to be A. No matter how the red and the blue waves are aligned, the resultant wave is always going to have an uh, intensity of 2i. There is no way you can arrange these two waves such that uh, the resultant intensity is 0 or 4i because no matter how you align them, you cannot achieve destructive interference nor constructive interference. So in that sense, we say that two waves which are polarized perpendicularly to each other do not interfere with each other. Alright, that's all. Ta-ta!